Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So I'm going to be showing you how to put together the coffee cup die set. Now this is my set from Simply Made Crafts and you get everything in here to make this lovely coffee cup. But just to start off with, it's not for drinks. This is for purely putting in treats and other gifts and things like that. So um, this drawer is purely uh, for decorative uh, use. So let's have a look at these cups. Okay, so here is the cup there's a little straw hole here and this comes off and the lid does stay on quite well as well so again it's for filling with treats this will be perfect for popping in some popcorn or some marshmallows a pick and mix as well would do great in there okay so that's the first one I've used uh, for all of these I've used the papers apart from this one here okay so you also get the sleeve as well that pops on there we have the bow there and again perfect it all stays on there because of these tabs here it creates that bit of tension just to keep it on so I do need to add some glue here but I haven't glued it down glued it down because I wanted to show you the outer sleeve that it does come off and you get the die for that in the set here and then I've made like a wedding themed one so again I've if you want to keep the lid secure, if you put something heavy in there and you want to keep the lid secure, just tie a ribbon all the way around and like glue it in strategic places and it will keep all of your goodies inside there. So this one will be absolutely perfect um, as a wedding favour gift. And again, here we have, um, I will show you the paper that I've used for this one. This is also from the paper pad and it, it's shaped. So this is the Great Night In paper pad, it's 12 by 12, 250 GSM and here we have the shaped mats here for that particular die set. Okay, I think I've showed you everything, so now we can get on with showing you how to put this die set together. Now I've cut out quite a few things here already, so let's get the die set out. So this will fit on a standard Big Shot if you have the extended platform. There we go, if you have the extended platform it will fit on there. So it's not too wide. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this one out first. And as you can see, I've got all of my bits and bobs cut out here already. So let's pop all of these aside. That is my leftover sheet. And I'll be going through it, everything that you're gonna be needing to cut out. So let's run this through first. I am gonna use my big machine though. Okay, so that's done all of the scoring for you as well. I'm running out of places to put things now. So you're going to be needing one of these long ones here. I've done that out of white. And I've got one of these semicircles here with the cutout notch. So I've got one of those. And then I've got some fun foam here. You know the white fun foam stuff? I've cut one out of there just for dimension. If you don't have any of that, you can just cut three or four of these and glue them together. So that is going to be glued together to make a nice raised area. We need two of the larger circles. Um, two, I've only cut one, but you're gonna need two of these smaller ones. And here we have two of the, the wrap there. There's no score line on there because that would uh, make it very awkward awkwardly shaped and here we also have um, the the straw hole on there but do remember um, if you're giving this away as a gift or anything tell them that it's not for drinks or anything liquid it's literally just for treats 
this would also make really great um, bath bomb gifts as well if you have smaller bath bombs you could fill that up with bath bombs I just keep getting loads of ideas okay so let's get all of this put together so I've got my those squares there that's the leftover from the negative sheet from the popcorn die set so I'm just folding all of these up just like that and then I'm just curving this just like that just to help it with the curve again you can actually go off the edge of your table like hold it there and pull it down and that will also help it to curve as well now I rarely use paper clips in my um, construction however I will try and use them for this one because it's a curved thing and I don't want it to kind of come undone and I don't want to st be standing there for a while holding it together okay so I've just added my glue down there again there's no score line because it's on a curve and that will give you a really really awkward shape so get that glued down you can use uh, red tape for this however I have found that just the pressure of this curvature and that goes for any sort of curved project the um, the pressure just wants to pull it apart so I've had to add glue to some of these as well as um, yeah that's one of them so I have had to add glue there as well as using the red tape so I'm just going to hold that in place with a paper clip and again I might just need another paper clip at the bottom so I'm just going to fold those in and just fish out another flip I have made a massive mess today on my desk there we go there's the other paper clip I was looking for so make sure if you do use clips that they they're not going to leave too much of um, a marking or a mark or a pressed edge or anything like that okay so I'm going to leave that there to dry while we work on the next stage so this would be where you would add your little circle here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue these two together So this is the foam piece and the top piece, so make sure you get them straight. There we go, and if you do have a little bit of an overlap, because because the um, the foam does kind of squish out as you go through the die cutting machine, it can you can get a bit of an odd shape. So I'm just going to chop that off. Okay, and now that can go on there, just like that. Again run this through this one first if you want a hole and then line it up draw a little pencil mark and then run that through I'm sure there are other ways in lining up your dies but I always forget the order to do things in so this one is going to be a treat cup for sweets okay that is our top ready to go but I do have another circle here and I'm going to switch now to red tape because it's so much easier and these are glued together this stuff is so sticky okay so for this one we are just going to fold everything down You can get a bone folder down on this as well if you want and you will notice you have some longer than the others so the longer ones are what's going to wrap around our circle and the shorter ones are going to be our little gripping gripping teeth I'd, I'd say in keeping the lid in place that is definitely one of the challenges with um, DIY or homemade cups and things like that it's really hard to get the um, the lid to stay on something that slopes downwards okay so I'm going to add now my tape along the larger of the teeth
So I'm using quite wide tape here. And again what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my bone folder and I'm going to press that. That's going to push out all of the air bubbles and it's really going to press the adhesive right into the cardstock. And then I can take that off. Oh, there is one more thing I need to do. It's just this little tab here. So on the other side, I'm going to add my tape there. Just going for the thinner tape here. There we go. Just take all your bits off, all the backing bits, and then we are going to join this together. There we go. Turn that upside down now so that your adhesive is on the bottom there. Grab your circle. That's where it went. <laughs> I thought I'd lost it. it. Might be easier if you press all of these in first, but then have all these top ones upwards. Alternatively, you can do this by wrapping it around. go. Whoops. Getting my bone folder because I used the red tape and there's gaps. It has stuck down slightly. But that is the other side. And then we have these teeth here. So all you have to do now is just push all of these onto the inside. And then we can put our top on. go and now that is ready for our top so again you can make this out of patterns cardstock and get some really good contrasting things here you can even theme it to whatever celebration you're doing if you can imagine putting everyone's initials on them as well so that everyone knows which one is theirs these make just the perfect little personalized gifts and I absolutely cannot wait to make a Christmas version of this. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, and that is our lid done. So if you feel like you need extra adhesive, just add some more glue under there, just to keep that in place. But everything is now glued down. So let's move over to our cup again. So now that should, that should uh, be okay now. So we have our bottom so let's just pop in all of these teeth here there we go and what I'm going to do now is just add some glue just around the outside here just like that it's going to be hard to see because it's pretty bright in here again this would look great using a contrasting with this color on the inside okay now pop your circle in again bone folder is your friend here and then just pop that in and give it a good press there we go and if you, you might get a bit of glue coming out from there on the bottom I feel like something flatter would help with this there we go that's got everything mostly into place okay let's try the lid this will want to kind of come out a lot but after you've used it quite a few times they will stay up in that sort of position let's pop that on and there we have our cup as you can see those teeth are doing the job and it's keeping the lid on but again if you have something heavy in there or you don't want the lid to just come off accidentally or topple over just add your ribbon along the top here and that should keep everything in place right now moving over to the coffee belly band 
Okay, so these are two exactly the same. So I cut two and I'm adding glue along here. Again, I'm staying away from the red tape because it can try and pull itself apart due to the tension. So I'm gluing those together, press it down, and then I'm going to leave it for about two to three minutes. Because if I start bending this around, it's just gonna come apart. I mean, this Cosmic Shimmer Glue is excellent, but you still need to kind of give it time to do its stuff before you start curving things. Okay, so I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. That seems good to me. So bone folder again. Just gonna give that a little bit of a curve. This is really gonna help us. There we go, it's curved now. And we're gonna do exactly the same. Add your glue along the end of this tab. There's no score line. And then bend that round. And if you want to, you can add your paper clips again, or you can just stay there for just a, a minute or two, just till it takes. There we go, and here we have our belly band. Now that is going to go along here, just like that. That is our lovely treat cup ready to go. So all I need to do now is die cut another one of these circles I can do it from white or a matching paper and then I just need to decorate the front we'll add bits and bobs to the top like here we have the bow from the hamburger box and here we have decorations from the paper pad here I've made a manual bow here just by the glue gun and a ribbon so another thing that I probably will do for this cup is I'll be using the Great Nights in Labels stamp set and the matching coordinating um, labels die set as well. This comes as a as a bundle. You get a lovely little belly band in there together just like that. So for this one I've done something sweet. So this one is going to be perfect for some marshmallows. So let's pop some of those in. If you have some dolly mixture, uh, pick and mix sweets, all of those lovely um, sugary things that you can eat during a film. Absolutely perfect little treat cups. Pop that on and there we have something sweet just for you. So that is the coffee cup die set. I hope you really like this one and I cannot wait to decorate this one for Christmas. So if you like this one, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon.